In this video, I'm going to explain how to export an AIF file from your Avid Media Composer project so that you can then open the project within a audio editor such as Pro Tools or Logic. So the first thing you'll want to do is in Avid Media Composer, um, open your sequence if you haven't done already and then export as a video file. So if we go to the top menu here and choose output to file and then in options I'm going to choose export as MOV. I'm going to keep all the settings as they are uh, but make sure that uh, the codec family you use is H264 so click save and um, I'll change the name if you need to so after the video file has finished exporting you need to just export the AAF without the video I'm going to duplicate the sequence first of all I'm going to hit command and D that creates a duplicate sequence. I'm just going to rename it AAF export sequence. Now I'm going to open that sequence that I've just created and I'm going to delete all of the video tracks. So with all my video tracks selected, I'm going to hit backspace to delete and OK to confirm. And so now we're just left with the audio tracks. So now we're ready to export the AAF but first of all you need to select all of the tracks and the quickest way to do this is to hit command and A and then all the audio tracks are selected. So now you can go up to the file menu and from the output menu choose export file. Now go to options and make sure that export as is selected as AAF. Make sure that use selected tracks is ticked. None of these other options should be ticked. And you should also have include audio tracks in sequence selected. And from this drop down box, make sure that all tracks are selected. Next is the export method. Now I'm going to choose copy all media and what that will do is copy everything that has been used in the project so not just the visible audio in the sequence but all of the original audio. Um, you can choose to use consolidate media and if you do that I would suggest you choose 200 frames as the handle length and that's because it will only copy the media which you've used in the sequence and if you use handles that will give you a little bit of extra audio if you need to tweak any of the edit points. The only warning with consolidate media is that it will duplicate a lot of files within Avid Media Composer so just be aware of that. But I'm going to choose copy all media and I'm going to make sure that none of these options are ticked here and the only thing you need to check apart from that is at the bottom where it says audio from the drop down list you need to make sure that you have chosen embedded in AAF. So now you're ready to hit save, give it a name and now I'm going to open the AAF in Logic and to do that I'm going to go to my find a window, find the AF that I've just exported and right click on the file name and choose open with Logic Pro. Uh, Logic has just thrown up a message here saying do I want to change the sample rate and we'll just go with whatever the sample rate was in the original Avid Media project so we'll change the Logic project settings to match that so if you just click change project and that seems to have opened the AAF 
um, we've got the right number of tracks and clips in there so now we just need to import the movie file so go to file and movie and open movie and choose the reference movie that I exported earlier and now just check everything's in sync this is Emilio Hernandez, I train out of Tennessee Brazilian Jiu Jitsu Academy based out of Spring Hill, Tennessee so all looks good and uh, hopefully that will work for you as well so thanks for watching